everybody, I'm in the letter word, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fortnite. No face cam today, as um, I've sort of been taking a little bit of time off, you know, from YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, but I was just playing Fortnite for fun this afternoon when all of a sudden this turned up. Basically, a whole new update which included a brand new item that you can use inside a Battle Royale, as well as loads of brand new prefabs for the creative mode. So let's dive into a Arctic Island just so we can just throw them all down, have a look at them, and see what is now at our disposal. So first and foremost, let's discuss the brand new item because it's actually really cool and I'm quite excited about it. Just had a little go with it in uh, in game and it was actually pretty sick. Uh, where is it? Consumables. Here we go. This is the bad boy. So this, everybody, is known as the boom box. So just to sort of demonstrate how this thing works, let me go ahead and just like make a little something something. Just like quite a lot of it actually. Because basically what happens when you use this, everybody, is the boom box will start playing loads of music. And originally I thought its pure intention was going to be to, you know, just mask noise so you could basically go ahead and you could basically like hide your location if the player can't hear your footsteps and all these other different kinds of things turns out it actually destroys destroys structures as well which is nuts so look ready throw that bad boy down there and get ready for it look at that look how wide the radius is on it dude it's like four tiles in fact let's let's test this so one two three Oh, okay, so three's just outside of its radius, but a staircase, yep, that would get hit. So, yeah, we're talking, what, like two and a half? Essentially, itself and then two external ones. And then anything starting on the third tile is kind of normal. Apparently, if you shoot this thing, it stops as well. So let me pull out a weapon real quick. Let's just get, I don't know, let's get something weak. Let's try a grey SMG. Uh, let's throw down one of these. Okay, there we go. Right, now if we start firing at it, what happens? Oh, wow, it has a lot of health. Interesting. So it has 600 health. I genuinely didn't expect it to have quite that much. Dude, that's going to be so... Can you imagine playing in a match where it's in the final circle and everybody's in those weird little, like, turtle tunnels that they do? This might actually be able to combat that. I'm actually really excited about that prospect. Uh, but anyway, other than that, we have also got some brand new castle prefabs. Yay! We finally have them! And apparently there are castles with snow on, and then there are also regular ones without as well. So there are kind of like five gallery pieces just here. Um, and apparently some of them won't have snow on, but I guess we'll investigate those in just a moment. So, first and foremost, let's spawn you in, and you in, and you in, and you as well. Um, and I also want to get rid of this SMG for a moment, and then I also want to go ahead and throw in one more as well. Okay, let's have a, have a look, little look at these then, see what we can build out of them. Now, what would be sick is if you can get the throne room. Looks as though you can already get the torches. We've got some kind of like, um, kind of like science-y, research -y kind of desk. I say science, it's more like apothecary and sort of, <laughs> you know, looking at scrolls and scriptures and stuff. Got some pretty sick barrels that are in their own little like kind of, um, kind of racks as well. Got some crates, some big, 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 big library um, bookcases. What else have we got? Can you grab the torches? Let me check. Oh, you can. Perfect. Okay. We've got some pretty cool looking crates as well. Dig in there. Um, anything else upstairs? A little bit more of the same. A little bit more of the same. We've got more crates. Anything new on the top floor? At the moment, it doesn't seem to be. No, and then there's just the top pieces. Okay. I mean, not too shabby. We've got a couple of the uh, kind of like the wooden brackets and frames as well. And then like this little thing here, I think that might be quite cool just to hang off of random parts as well. So we got that. Oh, the banners, of course. You can go ahead and grab the banners. <gasps> oh my god. I could put these inside of my prison, dude. Oh, yes. And they're actually stuck as a set tile as well. Although I guess you couldn't get in and out of the cells, but maybe people could break into them inside of the janky jail. We've got essentially the equivalent of stables. Because I can't remember whether we have the long barn from Fatal Fields in the... Um, creative mode but i guess now we have that available to us all right next up we have got this one right here kind of the double archway so is this the archway oh it's not i was wondering if this was the archway from polar peaks but it doesn't seem to be it seems to be just like a whole little separate piece so you go into here and it's almost like a small courtyard oh i've got so many ideas of what i could build out of this dude i'm well excited about this got a couple more barrels and stuff and again not anything crazy going on but it's looking pretty nifty. All right, big castle now. Let's go ahead and throw this in. Yup. <laughs> look at that. It's even kind of got like a, a balcony just so you can sort of look off the edge. Same on this floor as well. Oh, mate, there's loads of really cool stuff in this. I was just wanting, yeah, I wanted to check how do the pillars work. I guess they don't look any, any kind of different. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Whoa, hold on a minute. So you grab that and when you rotate it. Oh, it seems to rotate downward. Oh, no, I guess that's just the height of the, uh, the tile. Okay, ignore me. I thought that was like some weird glitch with the uh or a bug with the rotations. 
more of the same stuff inside of here. I quite like these kind of like uh, wooden slab floors. I feel like I haven't seen those in other places. And then other than that, pretty much more of the same from what I can see. Let's uh, go upstairs real quick. See if there's anything on these other floors. Oh, I like this curved archway. I'm guessing you could rotate that. Yeah, that's cool. Digging that. I like it. Uh, anything in the top then? Nope, just more of the same. Okay, fair dues. All right, next up, number six. Let's see what we got. Whoa, that's long. Oh, whoa, dude, that goes really far back. Wait, this is the actual castle, isn't it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get in here. Yep, this is the castle. Do we get the throne? Oh, we get the throne. Sick. And look at the ice as well, dude. That's a pretty cool ice block. That's sick. Now we can make a throne room. Just actually, I tell you what, I've been watching uh, lore videos about Kingdom Hearts, and these, if they were white, are giving me real vibes from Organization 13. That's really cool. So basically, the castle that's at Polar Peaks, we have that at our disposal as well. Uh, let's have a little wander outside and check out the last few prefabs. So we've got side buildings one, two, and three. Let's have a little nosy inside of you. What do we got? Got a nice little kind of like carriage just there. Let's see what else we got. Relatively empty. It's going to be the same as usual from Polar Peaks, but... I really like the stylings and the shapes of some of these. What's kind of a shame? Oh, actually, no, we do have one. Oh, perfect. I was going to say, sometimes in these, like, snowy prefabs, particularly from Happy Hamlet as well, um, you have the pointed roofs, and they always meet at the top, but you never have a flat roof that's in the same style. But here, we do, which is awesome. Uh, let's go for this one right here. Digging the little windows in this one. So I'm guessing, say the sword used to be here. This was the one, the building that used to be to the west of it, right? If I remember correctly, because, yeah, it's got the side door there, and you've got the little archways here. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, cool. So we already recognize how this one is built and how it sits. Um, I've never noticed that that's slanted before. That's kind of interesting. We've got a little wooden table, another little storage room. Yeah, not too shabby. Right, let's go outside of here, then. Let's throw this one down. Boop! And this one, I'm guessing, is the stables from the, uh, I guess the, no, sorry, the stables from the western side. I was about to say eastern side, because I think I said that was west. <laughs> west. Oh, hiccups. But yeah, more of the same as you would expect. We've got the archways, we've got the supports, and everything there is all good. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I guess then, other than that, we need to have a little nosy at the other locations. Well, I say other locations. Basically, it said there were eight prefabs for the actual structures, but it did say that we were going to get these castle prefabs, but without snow on. So, that's what I want to have a little look at right now. So, we've got Happy Hamlet, all the other pieces. I'm guessing it's going to be towards the end of the menu. Uh, let's see. So we've got, yeah, here we go, individual castle pieces. So these ones, by the looks of it, don't actually have any snow on them, which, again, is really, really, really cool. I know people have been asking for a little while for the Haunted Hills prefab for, you know, the Haunted Castles and stuff, but basically having this is actually a really nice little spot, so kind of digging that. And what's handy as well, especially with these corner pieces, is they're the same style on each side. The only problem you'd run into is, of course, the, uh, the sort of extruded slant part just there which is cool um what else we got there so we said there were going to be about five of these so i want to see what the rest of them are uh what else we got so we got ones with snow ones without snow Ooh, we got some actual large staircases see i've wanted that for a while dude we got a nice little archway topper got some stairs with snow on got the kind of the nice corner pieces so you can kind of have like a mezzanine uh yeah look here we go big staircases one with banisters one without and then one just completely without any snow or a banister digging it oh yeah and you can grab this individually as well oh what's happened there how is that landed like that wait is that more an object no it's not it's just when you select it it's off grid that's really strange isn't it what so hold on let me check oh the tiles are there correctly but it's spawned into the world off grid that's weird okay um and then other than that i'm sure there's one more right so we got one two three four where is our fifth and final one supposedly there was another one according to the patch notes but maybe i'm not gonna be able to find it no nah, i'm not seeing it well either way that's all good we've seen a lot of the brand new stuff i think this boom box is gonna be really really cool if i can i'll get a gameplay video of the boom box to go out later on today but for now that is everything new inside of the brand new patch which is awesome uh keep an eye out inside of Fortnite as well if you're not going to any parties if you're just hanging out in game this evening oh, sorry, sorry tomorrow evening uh then it does seem as though there is going to be a special new year's eve event according to the uh the data miners they said that they've managed to find like evidence of a giant disco ball in the sky which i can personally 
personally say that I have actually seen um, already inside of playground mode. And also, I reckon there'll be some extra sound effects and stuff that are going to go into that. But it all seems really, really cool. So that is it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, what do you think I should build with these prefabs? That's what I want to know. If there's a certain creative build that you would like me to put the time into making so you can play on it for yourselves, then do let me know in the comment section below. Um, I've really enjoyed all the creative videos because I get to stream as I'm making them. And it's just a really chill time. Uh, and then for then that, be sure to use my support creator code over the festive season. Make sure to grab some of those final, final Christmas skins before they're all out the store. And luckily, codename Elf hasn't been in yet, which is awesome. Uh, but either way, cheers for watching. <laughs> Leave a like on the video if you didn't watch this far. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.